Have you ever wanted to know how someone is feeling? Today, I will be telling you five ways on how to read body language. Reasons of importance. Number one, family. Two, friends. Three, relationships. Four, co-workers, and so on. For example, let's say that you're driving. You see a person walking. Then, you can immediately read the intention of the person. If they are hiding, running away, or simply crossing the street. Number one, arms. It can mean someone feeling anxious, vulnerable, or uninterested in hearing what someone has to say. Crossed arms can suggest confidence. If someone crosses their arms while smiling, leaning back, or showing other signs of being at ease, they probably feel somewhat in control of the situation rather than vulnerability. Arms that can give someone a sense of protection is holding something against their chest, bringing an arm to rest on a chair or table, putting an arm to create distance, using one arm to hold the other behind the back. These gestures subconsciously show that the person does not feel comfortable in the situation and they need to protect themselves in some way. Number two, legs and feet. Crossed legs can come off as not wanting to listen to the person's conversation. When in a conversation, if the feet are pointing away from the person, it means they feel likely to leave a conversation. If the feet are pointing towards the person, they are comfortable in the conversation and want to continue the conversation. Number three, hands. Outstretched hands with palms up means an unaware way of showing openness. Clenched fists can show anger or frustration, especially someone that hides their emotions. Their facial expressions will show neutral or calm. Instinctively touching the cheek might mean someone considering something very carefully or has a lot of interest in what someone is saying. Number four, physical distance. Someone who stands or sits close to you likely enjoys your company. Someone who's apart or takes a step back wants to maintain distance. Putting a hand or arm up when taking a step back wants to keep a physical barrier or more distance. Number five, posture. Leaning back on the wall or another type of support can mean boredom or disinterest. Leaning into a conversation or towards someone usually suggests interest or excitement. Standing up straight, sometimes with hands on hips, can suggest excitement, eagerness, and confidence. Standing straight with hands at the side indicates a common resting position that suggests enthusiasm to engage and listen. Resting the head in one hand can show interest. When both hands support the head, it might suggest boredom or fatigue. These are the five ways on how to read a quadrilateral. Thank you for watching.